A couple days later, the socket was back and the arms were attached. Les and the team were about to make history. Once the training sessions were complete and they released me and let me be the computer, basically, to control that arm, I just go into a whole different world. I think we're just getting started at this point. It's like the early days of the internet. There's just a tremendous amount of potential ahead of us and, and we just started down this road. And I think the next five, 10 years are gonna bring some really phenomenal advancements. Other milestones reached by the team were, this was the first time the MPLs were operated by a shoulder level amputee at the full three degrees of freedom and with over 30 total degrees of motion on both sides with complete intuitive thought-based control. He has access to all of the different degrees of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hand, but he still needs to select which one he wants to use. So he needs to position the shoulder, then the elbow, then the wrist, then the hand separately and rest in between. Maybe I'll be able to, for once, be able to put change in a pop machine and get the pop out of it. Simple things like that that most people never think of. And, it, and it's re-available to me. Okay, We'd really like to be able to do is send him home with a couple of limbs so that you know, he can use them in his everyday life. And what this has showed us is that that's really possible. All of us on this RP2009 team, regardless of the type of patient we're fitting, are committed to making every effort to see that this ultimately reaches the end user in a way that they can actually utilize it. That's awesome. <laughs> It's not just the accomplishment, but the opening of frontiers and realizing that there's so much more to learn. This unique opportunity of interfacing with the end user, utilizing our technology, provides valuable feedback to the team. Feedback that will assist this DARPA developed technology in helping wounded warriors and others to regain the 27 degrees of freedom possessed by the human arm.